right, so what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, man. It's your boy. And uh, a lot of you, I mean, a whole lot of you been hitting me up to see some Tier 3 Black Widow gameplay. And I promise you one thing, man. That's going to happen. And it's going to happen in due time. However, before we get to any kind of Black Widow gameplay, I want to show you guys something interesting. So, this right here, right, let me go right up here, is the fruits of my labor this week, okay? The first playthrough of Infinite Shadowland or Shadowland Plus since the rewards were buffed, okay? I put in the work, I got all the way up to stage 91 today, I used up all of my characters, I soloed no floors, right and i want to show you guys what the rewards of having a roster with all of the characters at tier two looks like and pretty much all of the tier threes i'm missing two but they'll be coming in due time so before we get into the gameplay for black widow i just want to show you guys what veterans and people who spend a lot of money and time on the game get when they put their full roster that they devoted their time into building to the test if you will so let's get to it man i will say that the rewards were better this week than they've ever been based on the reward pool that we've seen and i'm just waiting to see if something spectacular is gonna happen like a ctp okay so no ctp but what I will say is, at least this week, I don't feel like I wasted my time entirely. Just because I got a couple six-star Urus, and at the bottom here, I got a six-star car, right? Still feels lacking, still definitely feels lacking, especially considering there's still a factory of RNG here. And many of us would like that to just go away, give us tokens so we can like save towards a purchase in the shop, just like in the Dimension Mission Shop, right? Anyways, that's what I got this week. And I think I'm going to be doing a video journal moving forward of all of my rewards from Shadowland until I see something spectacular from me personally, okay? So, Black Widow, how good is she in this new uniform? That's what we're going to be taking a look at today. The uniform is still at normal. I have a CTP on her because I think she is hella fun and I am going to be investing a whole lot more into her. However, I'm not going to take her any further than where she is right now until we see what happens for the anniversary tier 3 selector. Okay, I'm waiting to see if the developers actually buckle and give everyone a chance at a free tier 3 Black Widow. If they don't, cool, I'll just tier 3 her off my own dime. That's no problem, no sweat off my brows. I'm going to do it anyways. But I'm hoping that they bless the community with a free tier 3 Black Widow. Or at least the option, the opportunity to get that, okay? So, this is what her stats look like. She's not completed. Like I said, I'm waiting until i see what's going on with the tier 3 selector because i'm hearing talks and i'm seeing pictures from you guys in the discord community shout out to you guys always like you know what i'm saying showing your boy was good and uh yeah i want to see what happens with black widow but before any of that let's take it to the test ladies and gentlemen we're gonna put her against proxima and let's see what happens so we're gonna use that taskmaster uniform which it's a must buy i'm telling you taskmaster gameplay video coming real soon and what we're gonna do here is pretty much no defense down and no mind control at all we have cap in this uniform because in this uniform it gives you an additional 12 percent damage to super villains and that's better than 10 percent and it's better than what Chirag would give me by 2%. So like, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to go with that. It's a little bit of defense down. But in the grand scheme of things, with the resistance and stuff, not going to be that big of an impact. Let's pop it off. We're going to pop that Fury buff. 
and we're gonna go right into that fifth skill snipe game on fleek don't play with the widow let's go it's really nice that her fifth skill is a full iframe or at least full enough to keep Proxima from moving around it is taking me aback a little bit though and it will take a bit of adjusting to get used to um, not seeing the bars fly off from piling on defense down on the boss comment down below and let me know if that's what you guys are feeling like even though she's looking pretty good right now at 65 or level 70 because we had like a three month window there where like even level 60 characters were doing like 80s right this is not looking that impressive and it's probably not gonna look that impressive to you but for people who knew how bad black widow was or still is without this uniform this is pretty impressive there's a couple things you need to note here okay okay where are you going can we paralyze her again uh, anyways there's a couple things to note here black widow is exceptionally safe in this uniform right she is very very easy to use and her damage is very good for some reason I completely missed my damage drop there but we'll try it again so you're gonna notice okay really okay there it is anyways you're gonna notice that i'm only needing to use three skills that's pretty much it five four and three and i'm getting enough survivability from it and i'm getting enough damage from it as well i honestly think i don't need anti-venom in here but he's a nice insurance policy and he's the one striker that I think everyone is still going to use pretty much all the time regardless of whether or not they need him because you never know things could always go left it's really really nice that she has paralysis black widow stock is going up so much in this update one thing i find interesting is even though she uses her fifth skill with the co-op she doesn't get ooh, hold up hold up hold up hold up ooh. anyways she doesn't get that close-up sniper action when you use the co-op even though it's the exact same skill you get the helicopter no iframe angle all right i right, see you basically get deadpool's um <laughs> fifth skill no uniform I think we could do this if we put a little bit more defense down in here and like try to fly through the first half of the fight before the defense down starts getting completely shut down i still think we can do this because we're not really relying on defense down so the damage shouldn't dry up that much because that's one thing about on um, proxima when you try to like cheese her with defense down strikers once you get down to about like four or five but ooh, ooh, come on come on come on widow ooh. when you get down to like four or five bars the damage just completely dries up because the defense down is no longer like stacking like even before the resistance was a thing she's quick on her feet let's go and i'm having difficulty keeping the proc consistently on the fifth skill i wonder if it's a better idea to go four than five for damage because mm, whew, that was nice wow that was nice and i got killed <laughs> okay was not paying attention there i got killed anyways let's go test her a little bit against corvus and see how that looks um, she definitely looks like she has the potential to do 65 here, maybe even 70 if I am a little bit like more aggressive, I guess. But I really want to see what her damage looks like without too many like mind control or defense down strikers. So let's see what a 70 looks like. Mm, okay, so we don't have to deal with um, the blade twister here. Poison is still bad, but it's fine. We're going to go. Let's do we drop cap. We'll keep cap. A little bit of defense down never hurt nobody we'll go like that and the silver savage let's see what she can do 
I think I'm gonna fully awaken her eyes so set tomorrow. I think that's my next move with her. Yeah, the four definitely looks like it hits harder, man. Yeah. The four looks like it hits harder. I wonder if that's because the all attack buff. Okay. I'm <laughs> taking a lot of damage, but we got anti venom on deck. I wonder if that's because the all attack buff. Let's see. No, it comes at the beginning. I was going to say isn't activating until the end but it's coming at the very beginning so i'm kind of like taken aback as to why and i really don't want to waste the immunity when i'm in an iframe so i'm i'm like hesitant to do four into okay come on wow i just realized we don't have anti-venom what am i doing <laughs> I was looking at Agent Venom and because they're both like in that white suit. <laughs> I was playing super risky. Okay. <laughs> We're definitely gonna die. I was not paying attention. I I swear I okay. We might have to swap in um anti-venom here, boys. Cause I was playing super risky with her because I figured I had anti-venom on deck. And whenever there's poison on the stage, you always want to bring anti-venom when the character doesn't have native healing. So, yeah. Okay, so 311, 68. That's not bad. That's not bad. Okay, so I'm going to redo this. <laughs> okay. I don't know why I keep leaving the dome. Actually, I know why. It's because she has immunity on her um, on her forward skill, and I don't want Nick Fury's immunity to override hers. Okay. What hit me there? I think there's a small gap. What the heck is going on? Yo, that was mad trippy, bro. That was mad trippy. That was mad trippy. Did I tell you guys that was mad trippy? It was mad trippy. Okay. I think, ooh, yeah. I was gonna say I think the proc is gonna be off because I <laughs> I should I should probably not use co-op into the fifth. It's more like co-op into the five since the co-op is Ooh, hold up, what am I saying? Okay. So, she has the same thing as Deadpool's um, old fifth skill, where if they iframe ever so slightly, they can cause the helicopter to crash. Do doesn't look like we lost that much damage. Or any at all, for that matter. It is refreshing to play without mind control that, ooh, that, that much I can say for certain. Yeah, we're, we're pretty much making the same time. Actually, better time. Wow. And full HP. Check me out, boys. Hashtag Scrub Nation. I'm doing it for you guys, okay? You guys make me better. 1% every day. Okay, let's go. Woo. It's going to be interesting to do this phase with no mind control, though. I've gotten pretty, like... Okay, where you at? Ah, wait, were you going somewhere, buddy boy? Let me just go ahead and use that co-op. Oh, that was nice. No! You scum! Okay, please. Woo, don't stab Fury is what I was going to say. Let me go get that heal. Got it! <laughs> okay, let's pop that, bring Widow back out. And she's going to bust out the Widowmaker. That's what we're calling this um sniper rifle. Yeah. Okay, come here. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait. Use the co-op. 
because why not? And there's a forward skill, because why not? Okay, we might be <laughs> we might be in a little bit of trouble here. No mind control. Woo. Ah, come on, come on! I, like one more hit. Ooh, one more hit, man. <laughs> one more hit, and we would have got him down into his neck phase. He's too annoying. There he is. Yo, that that's still so trippy, man. Okay, okay, hold on. Oh lord, a lot. Okay, hold on. I wonder if I can. This can stop him from. Nope. 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 It's confirmed. Okay. I thought if I use my iframe, I don't know why I thought. Well, actually, I knew better. <laughs> okay, I knew better. It is really nice though, like to get the close up on the boss. Okay, that. Woo. Okay, Tasky. R.I.P. Rip. <laughs> Yo. Yo, this guy is ruthless with it, bro. This guy, listen, playtime's over. Double kill, insta kill. <laughs> okay, come on. See, this is why we need my control, man. Maybe I should have put Scarlet Witch in here. Woo! To stop this guy with a Tom Foolery, but I don't want to. I don't want to. I'm actually having fun, and this is actually making me nervous. <laughs> you feel me? Whoa, yo, this is. That's cheating, bro. I take back what I just said, bro. I just, I take it back. I want mind control. You cheating, bro. Okay, this guy's just blitzing the map endlessly, bro. Black Widow a legend, though. She ran through the fire and the flames. She a legend. She a legend, bro. She a legend, boys. The legend of Black Widow. The strongest Black Widow you've seen. It took us five years to get here. She had to die in Endgame for us to see how she truly was all along. For us to love her for who she was and still is. Okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> I'm playing around, but she is super fun. Way safer than I made her seem in this video. That's for sure, for sure. And she's plenty strong. Some of you guys are going to look at this showing and say, man, she looks weak. But that's because you're measuring her against characters that you were using before this update when there was defense down in the mix we did that run pretty much with no defense down and no mind control so the boss had free reign to cancel her skills all the time if this was pre-update when we had defense down and mind control that 68 that she just did would have probably been more like 88 i'm just saying right so just keep that in the back of your mind and that's without her tier 3 skill I definitely think this Black Widow uniform is worth having and I'm going to get it to Mythic. I'm going to build her a lot better and I'm going to give you guys another showcase with her in about a week or so, right? Give or take. I want to see what they do with the free tier 3 selector though. And then we'll take it from there. Let me know who you guys want to see next. I'm thinking of doing a showcase for the Red Guardian, aka Bootleg Cap. <laughs> and yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.